All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be using the infinite range Bryson 890, which basically means we're chucking the slugs on this thing. I got told to chuck the slugs onto the Bryson 890. I was told it was the best choice of shotgun to be doing it just because it has the lowest effective damage range among the shotgun class. I'm going to be honest, it definitely made it a better choice. Before you the slugs, all you could do is run around on shipment, sprint at people, be really close range and hope for the best. With this option, you now can take up to, I think I saw a 24 meter gunfight in my gameplay. That's just outright ridiculous for a shotgun and it's super accurate on top of that. Let's get into the attachments. All right, so the infinite range attachment are the 12 gauge slugs, slug rounds, damage range, bullet velocity. I'm chasing that damage range, of course, and the slug rounds are the reason they get that damage range. Tuning is going to be plus 0.29 towards that overall damage range. Then we got negative 7.25 towards our recoil steadiness. You may be asking, why does recoil steadiness matter on a shotgun? Well, you're going to be spending a lot more time actually aiming down the sights in this one. So you want that to recenter much smoother. For the magazine, I have the 12 shell mag, just giving me more bullets. Obviously, if I'm going to be running around playing super aggressive, I'm going to need those extra shells there. For the guard, I have the Demo X50 tactical pump. Rechambering speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. I'm mainly chasing that rechambering speed, though, because that's basically fire rate at the end of the day. Tuning is going to be plus 0.20 towards our aim walking steadiness, negative 0.15 towards our sprint to fire speed. For the stock, you want the stockless pistol grip, giving you a ton of aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. Obviously, a bunch of great additions to a shotgun build. And our last attachment is the 21.5 inch Bryson Shredder, giving you bullet velocity, recoil control, damage range, and tighter pellet spread. Obviously, I'm really just chasing that damage range there the rest is just more of an add-on tuning is going to be negative 0.24 towards our aim walking speed and negative 0.14 towards our aim down sight speed so i'm going to be honest i absolutely doubted this you'll even hear me talk about it at the beginning of the gameplay i thought that honestly it just felt worse and harder to use but once i got the hang of it and learned how to actually play with the thing it's super fun and you get a ton of satisfying kills and this is going to help you especially if you're going for long shot camos here on the Bryson. This thing is an absolute blast to use. Definitely a must try. Make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the build. And if you went into game and tried it out, now make sure you also hit the like and subscribe button. As always, let's get over to Shoe House. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we have the Bryson 890 with a twist today. We're running the slugs. I was told that this is the best weapon to run the slugs with because base it has the lowest effective damage range of the shotguns so by putting the slugs on we have the potential to get much farther one shot kills as long as you hit your shots of course which i just in fact did not and i'm gonna spawn right behind the dude hello okay i'm a little confused i was told it was gonna be like a ridiculous like damage range somebody lied to me i think we're gonna keep working with it though and we're gonna see if that's the truth so far i'm not feeling so confident with this thing to be 100 percent honest with you it feels it feels the same i'm confused it doesn't feel like i'm gaining anything here all i'm seeing okay never mind there's a long shot I'm just confused about those hit markers, you know? But now I'm hitting long shots. Something's not right. I'm not peeking that again. No, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to see it now. Okay. I take it back. I'm taking it back. Holy cow. This is crazy. Enemy 
If you're wondering why I just bailed, there was a sniper and he was, uh, I don't want nothing to do with that. Okay, so that range seems to be the max right there. Let's hit this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. You can see they're all over that. And I'm not exactly trying to push it, you know? Okay. See, those random hit markers confuse me, that's for sure. He's up there. They're also behind me. On your six. The enemy's gaining ground. Push them. Enemies inside the perimeter. Changing max. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Enemy down. Wall bang. Why did that just say I got a wall bang? Oh, there's a guy there. I don't know if he knows I'm here. I'll take that as a no. What? What was that? I tell you what, I got my title. Infinite range. The infinite range. Okay, it's probably there. You would be nice, thank you. Enemy personnel in the hall. <gasps> Target loading. Yeah, I'm staying right here. They're not going to push this way. Right? Like... Oh. I don't think you guys have realized or realized how close I was to be like just choking that all together. I was quick to judge. And I'll be the first to admit it. I was very quick to judge that. Well, I just got quick scoped into Bolivian. Infinite range. Infinite range. Throwing grenade. Covering your six. I'm a little confused. Some of these hit markers don't really. I just got my body shot and I deserved it. Some of the hit markers really do not make much sense. 
Like that one was a hit marker too. It didn't look like it, but it, but it was. This is a fun weapon for sure. Like more of a fun than it is like a sweaty weapon. Fifty-five kills. I complain a little bit, you know? Happens. 